Good morning. This is October 25th, 2010. Ever since I've started rebuilding elms, I've saved an assortment of parts, mostly knobs and handles and thermometers. In this box, this is my goodie box with all the secrets. There's a shiny nickel plated elm tree. shiny nickel plated handles. Recently a man brought me a 1976 elm that he had purchased in pretty sad shape. The barrel was badly pitted. The, uh, the legs, it had short legs, the 8 inch legs. Didn't have the interior glass the temporary welded baffle had fallen out many years ago and of course it lacked the secondary air system these tubes exiting the rear of the stove and what he asked me to do was to transform it into a modern elm changing the barrel so what I did was remove the old barrel and install this quarter inch thick 18 inch long barrel with the original cooktop some used but nicely polished steel tie rods and we'll take a look around the front and get the flashlight so that we can see that it is in fact a 1976 Warren, Vermont, Vermont Iron Stove Works. Oops, turn off the light. With the original lift up handle and what I told him was that originally the opening for the door was a complete circle and oftentimes if you yank the door open quickly smoke would come out into the room from the top so what I did was I installed this piece cast iron piece on the top which is like a, an air dam and there's another air wash in the bottom basically the same piece turned upside down with a hole cut in the center which acts as an air wash about half of the air that comes in through the draft in the door will hit that and be deflected upward and the flames will lick the glass clean this has the flat glass in it now which is what is required and it also has a piece at the top called a widget because the original uh, glass for this was a full circle and at some point it was changed so that it has this flat area across the top so that widget is an adapter for that now we'll take a look inside the stove there is a cast iron baffle which is used in all of the 18 inch barrels the one inch steel u-tubes with a network of holes across the top which provide the thousand degree plus preheated air for secondary combustion uh... this doesn't have bricks in it currently but the bottom of it from front to back will be lined with splits they're called and on the back of the stove this is an interesting detail if I can get this to to show up Vermont Iron Elm back and the letters were actually individually carved nowadays you can buy letters pattern letters they're called which are perfect but those were handmade on the rear of the stove, which we may have seen a minute ago, the six inch flue exit comes straight out. Unlike the the newer ones where it's actually a 45 degree rotating elbow, a two piece setup with a separate cast iron elbow and back assembly. The one in this picture is 24 inches long with the same heavy gauge steel barrel, long legs 
the uh, door handle on this one is what we call a positive latching door handle which rotates zoom back out, 90 degrees, 12 o'clock position to close it, 9 o'clock position to lock it. The same draft assembly at the base of the door. This one also is painted all black. Many of the ones that leave here have nickel parts such as this elm tree which I showed you before. Here's a stockpile of the ash aprons in nickel. Those are very popular. And the man is due to come pick this up today so I wanted to get a quick video of it to show you what can be done with a stove that's 35 years old somebody loves and doesn't want to see go to the dump obviously nobody wants to see an elm go to the dump all the parts are available to refurbish it and make it operate like new again thank you for watching